Namaste, welcome to Geetha's Kitchen. Today's video brings back a flood of memories. In our younger days, we used to love having this ghee roast on the rare occasions when we were taken outside to have some tiffin. And along with this ghee roast, I am introducing you to what we call as railway chutney because this used to be served in the railway canteen stalls and also when we used to make those long journeys right from uh, Chennai to New Delhi and we would get this chutney served along with idli, dosa, bonda etc. A slightly spicy chutney and uh, let's see how to make it. For making the batter, I have taken 3 cups of raw rice, 1 cup of idli rice or parboiled rice, whichever you have you can take, 3 fourth cup of urad dal and 1 teaspoon of methi seeds. We will wash all these together and then soak it. Wash it well 2 or 3 times and then uh, soak it with plenty of water so that the water is above this uh, rice and allow it to soak for 3 hours. We have ground the rice, dal and methi seeds to a fine batter. Now we will just add some salt and mix it thoroughly using your hands, clean washed hands. Then you will get good fermentation of the batter. Now cover it and allow it to ferment for nearly 6 hours or even overnight you can keep it. See the batter has risen very well. First we will make this railway chutney or train chutney. It is named so because you find it served in stations along with their idli dosa vada. It is a more watery kind of chutney. And the proportion of uh, this uh, roasted gram to coconut is different. Normally we add more of coconut and less of roasted gram. But for this chutney I have taken half cup of roasted gram. And we will take just 2 tablespoons of fresh grated coconut. This chutney is generally a bit spicy. So I am adding some ginger and 2 green chilies. If you want more spicy you can add one more. But this is okay for us. And a little bit of coriander leaves, some salt to taste. Some people even add a little bit of garlic to this but I would like to avoid garlic so I am not adding. So a tiny bit of tamarind see that there is no seed or fiber in it. Now we will make this into a fine paste. See I have ground it into a fine paste like this. Those who want to keep it as a getty chutney can do so, who like the thick chutney. But since it is a railway chutney, I am adding more water to this. I will just run it in the mixer for a second. Now add this to the chutney. See, this can be the consistency of the chutney or even if you like it more dilute, you can keep it like that. We only have to do the tempering now. Heat some oil, add some mustard seeds. A little bit of hing, and one dry red chilli. Pour it over the chutney. Our railway chutney is ready. Now for making the dosa, take out the required quantity of batter in a smaller bowl. If you add, want, you can add some water just to bring it to the right consistency. Now heat your tawa. Just let it heat very well. The water should sizzle like that. Then reduce the heat to medium. Now pour out a ladle of batter and spread it out like a regular dosa. Apply some ghee in the center and all around. 
see the underside become a greatish gently flip it over just a few drops of ghee on this side too so that we get lovely crispy ghee roast with the lovely aroma and taste of ghee when the edges become lovely and crispy you can gently fold it over and take it onto a plate pour a little of batter and spread it around a little bit of ghee at the center and a few drops all around the edges when you see the underside becoming reddish gently lift up the edges and flip it over just a few drops along the sides once again wait till the edges become nice and crispy then you can easily flip it over like this lovely ghee roast ready to be served to your family and don't miss this tiny blob of butter on top of the hot dosa uh, it really seems magical when you get the dosa and the butter slowly melts on it it adds a wonderful taste and along with it we'll serve some of this railway chutney and of course our uh, mulaga padi which we always have ready at home so a perfect breakfast or dinner recipe ghee roast which we used to really enjoy as children when we whenever we went out to eat with this uh, railway chutney and some mulaga padi thank you for watching the video Uh, definitely try out this so those are enjoy it with your family and friends and uh, subscribe to geeta's kitchen we'll meet in another interesting episode from geeta's kitchen thank you